Hi guys, bit of an update uh, about the CBR 600F. That sold, um, and it sold really quickly the other night. Someone rang at eight o'clock at night. They turn, turn up half an hour later and loved it and bought it. So sadly, I haven't got anything else to do on that one. Um, on this video now, I'm going to put up the costings and the <clears throat> what it costs to maintain and what I did to it and how much I made from that bike. This is a new project. Now I bought this from the same company, so I bought it with no information. That means I don't know if it's got a logbook or logbook coming. I don't really know if it's a runner. I haven't even pressed to see if the um, if it has any compression. I've literally saw the pictures and bought it and, and we'll, we'll deal with whatever I come up against. So this is the new project. Now, there are a good few issues on this bike. It obviously went down on the right side because the lever's bent. This panel's missing. This panel's wrecked. That's the fuel tank, I'm gonna have to look at that. The exhaust has completely snapped, which I'm actually still gonna try and repair. I don't really wanna mess around with new exhaust on this one, because this isn't gonna make any money uh, as it is. Uh, what else? The number plate needs changing. The, what's going on there? No lock on the back box. Back box is cable tied on. The side's not too bad. Although the front brakes are binding and have very little tread, so it needs front brake blocks. It needs a front mud guard. And these stickers all need to be taken off with a hairdryer. And that's actually going to take a long time. Apart from that, I've not even switched a key to see if it has any battery. I'm going to give it a kick, see if there's any compression at all. Yeah. Doesn't feel great. I don't know if there's any electrics on it. Oh. It's got some battery. What I'm going to be doing, ah, uh, what's that horn? Needs a new horn switch. I can test some of the electrics actually while I'm waiting. Left. Nothing. Right. Nothing. Lights. Nothing. Uh, yeah. I don't know if the steering lock works. It does, that's good. I don't know if the rear seat opens. Although the company have taped this invoice to the bodywork, which is a bit annoying. Ah, and there's a slip in there. That means I can either get a free logbook or one is already on its way. Let's see if the rear seat is locked. Good. I always like the rear seats to lock and unlock. Um, it just winds me up when they don't basically fuel sender looks wrecked fuel uh, let's have a look how do I get in there with the camera it's empty can't smell any fuel it's empty battery is tiny I'm not sure if that's the right one I'm going to be charging that tonight and when I bought this, I bought this a week ago on the internet, on eBay again. And I ordered some bits so that I can do them tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be removing a bunch of stickers, ideally all of them. I have ordered that panel. That panel's ready. I've actually got this panel. I'll be attempting to fix the exhaust as much as I can. And then I'll be painting it uh, and de-rusting it. I'm going to have to put some sort of... I don't know what I can achieve there actually. I might even have a spare exhaust in the uh, garage somewhere because I've worked on these bikes before. I've also ordered this lens, funny enough. Um, so tomorrow I can get a lot of this bike done. It, I don't know if this opens. 
there, it appears not. Oh. It would have been nice to have found a stash of money in there. Oh, black tape, no, no, we don't like black tape. Yep, so lots to come on this tomorrow. I'll put the pricings up for the Honda CBR. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't film it. Oh, I've just noticed it needs a, uh, a full, um, speedo cable. That's a pain. I've actually also ordered the front mark already, which is good. So, more to come tomorrow. I've done that typical thing I do where I was only meant to come here for a few minutes to take the battery out. And now I've decided I want to try and give it its first start up. So I've checked the fuel tank, it's completely empty, which is actually good, it means the clock, the carp has more chance of being clean, um, although it doesn't exactly work like that. So all I'm going to do at this stage is pour some petrol in, check for leaks, use the kickstart, try and start it up. That's what you're going to see me doing over the next couple of minutes. It's still slightly leaking, but we will get an idea if this bike starts or not. Now, I don't expect the bike to start, if I'm being honest. I'll be pretty shocked if it does. Um, and the next step would be looking at the electrics. So, let's give it a few kicks and just see. As I said, I'd be pretty shocked if that did fire up. Um, I would have thought the carb needs to clean after hanging around for a while. I'm going to actually try and boost it using my back. You shouldn't hold the starter for more than 10 seconds at a time, otherwise it burns out. Good 
the new fuel will be cleaning the old fuel out of the carb at the moment. It won't be perfect at this stage. It will definitely need a carb clean, which I'll do tomorrow. But it'd be nice to tell if this is a running engine or not. you shouldn't mess with the idle at this stage because it ooh, because it needs to it needs to um, the choke needs to come off This stuff, there's no way in hell going to repair this size hole. What I am going to do is use this stuff first and then I'm going to put some sort of metal clip over it to make sure it is fully secured. As I said, I'm, I'm very willing to put a new exhaust on. Let's see if it fires up again. For now, for today, that's all I'm really going to do. I've taken the front caliper off to see if I can get the um, nuts and bolts loosened, meaning I've squirted fluid in to give them a night to rest. Let me sort out the uh, fuel dripping issue. It's not safe at this point, obviously. I still think just a better screwdriver will uh, clamp that clamp up enough. But I'm very pleased. The bike starts and appears to run. So tomorrow, I believe this bike will be ready to at least run up and down the road just to see what it's like. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. This may not be the end of the video because I'll add bits to it, but I really appreciate people watching the videos and maybe even finding them useful. <laughs>